Hi everyone, this is just a really quick um, overview, so it's not a review, but an overview of the um, Bell helmet and the AGB helmet. So let me just uh, open them, I can't remember what model they are. So basically, I've got a KBC helmet upstairs I used to race in, but it's not really suited to riding a bobber that I've just bought, or a flat tracker bike that I've just bought. Um, okay, so this one here is the Bell helmet which is the SRT. Now I've opened, I've wore both of these helmets and fiddled around with them a bit and I've already made my mind up uh, between the AGV um, and the Bell. So this is the Bell one, which is the, I can't think which one this was. So this one is the AGV, uh, is this the K1 or K3 or something? I'm not too sure. So, okay, so like I say, it's not a review for obvious reasons, um, but the purpose of this is, is purely why I've made my mind up. So, first off, if you're looking for a helmet, um, this one, the visor is very stiff and me like really clunky to put down. It, it just feels feels horrible compared to the AGV one. So AGV one, it, you can hear the difference. It just feels absolute quality. Um, okay, next thing, uh, vents on this one. The vents just feel a bit, bit plasticky. I mean, it might be an unfair comparison, but I couldn't choose between these helmets online. So I was like, I'll get both and send the one back that I don't like. I definitely, I mean, the, the bell's okay. If I'd bought it, I'd have been like, well, it feels a bit, feels a bit cheap. I've got two bell push bike helmets, and they're really nice. So. That's why I ordered this one, plus a lot of the paint scheme on it. Uh, but yeah, the, the vents just feel a little bit, they feel a little bit cheap and they feel a little bit, yeah, plastic. Well, yeah, it's all plastic. But they just sound cheap as well, do you know what I mean? It just feels, it's all right, but it just feels a bit, you know. Uh, now, the AGV one, the vents on it, they just feel, it's this one here. Oh, and there's all three of them. They just feel nice. Do you know what I mean? When you operate them, they just feel quality. They don't make a real plasticky sound when you're doing it. Um, if the, this helmet here feels like my old racing KBC helmet uh, that was probably about 400 quid. Uh, and obviously this helmet, this, this AGV one, I think was about 150. I think they run, I think that was about 127. That was about 150, something like this. Um, but again, and the fit, the fitment on the Bell, the both small helmets um, in size. The Bell one is looser. The AGV one is tighter. If I was to jump on a race bike, well, the AGV one would be the one I'd choose, but also the AGV one is also ACU approved. So that's the only one that you could actually technically wear in a race anyway. Um, but yeah, I hope that's helpful. It's just a, just a quick overview. If you're looking at helmets, um, you know, the Bell one, um, for me, lot, you know, I chose it because I like the paint job. Um, but to be honest, now I've got it. You know, it is quite shiny i think it'll probably get you know fingerprints all over it and whatnot i still like it. it's okay but it does feel a tiny bit cheap um compared to the uh what i'd call the alternative in its class the agv and plus the agv one the i don't know if you can tell but just the actual side profile on it, it looks a bit more modern a bit more aggressive whereas the bell one is you know a bit more of a traditional pot you put on your head um, it's not as aggressive. I say it's okay. I don't, you know, I don't really like it. To be quite honest, I was a bit disappointed with that one. But the AGV one, um, yeah, I mean, just absolute quality. Feels quality when you're wearing it, um, and the vents feel quality, uh, and the visor, the visor flip up feels cool. Yeah, you know, really nice and smooth. And also, it's got this little function just here. You do that, and it just cracks open your visor just a tiny bit. So you can let a bit of air in. Um, the Bell one doesn't do that, I don't think. No. I mean, I suppose you can. But it's not as smooth as the... Uh, you know, do you know what I mean? It's not, there's nothing there, really, to, to say you can do that. You can crack it open, but it's going to fly up, isn't it? Whereas this one looks like it's actually got... You know, it doesn't feel like it's going to come up that easy. So it's got that nice little feature on it. Um, and I'll say the Bell one, the main thing that put me off the Bell one was the visor. It just seems to slam down, and it, and if you don't slam it down, 
it doesn't really shut. You have to like really push it shut. Whereas the AGV one, again, is a bit like my racing helmet, progressive, and when it shuts, it feels quality around those seals. You know, there's no plastic on plastic. It's like, you know, whereas this one is, do you know what I mean? It's just shit, to be honest. That would be my review if I was doing a review. Because I can't really call this good enough for a review. Um, so, yeah, basically, we put them like that so we can both see them. That one, the AGV, is definitely, in my opinion, far superior. And you may say it's an unfair comparison, but I'm sure when I was choosing these helmets, they were roughly the same price. I think the AGV was a bit more expensive, but in terms of class, um, that was... Uh, the nearest one I could afford to the bell to the bell one. So I hope that's been fairly helpful or maybe that's been absolutely a waste of your time. Uh, but I just wanted to do a quick review on helmets are about 130 quid average. Um, so if you're choosing between the AGV and the bell, the AGV one, for my opinion, is far better um, in terms of quality. And I would say looks, but it depends what your taste is. They're, they're both individual. Um, but yeah, in terms of quality, that's what I chose AGV for immediately. As soon as I put it on, put the fires down, I thought it was a great helmet. The bell's got to be really good to beat that, and it wasn't. Um, yeah, so between them, bell feels cheap, AGV feels absolutely quality, like uh, one of my £400 um, racing helmets. That's how it feels. And plus the um, the profile on the front, I've just more of a traditional, you know, quite a round profile, where the, the AGV's got like this aggressive... Um, you know, aggressive sort of chin on it. So uh, the bike I've just bought is a flat tracker, uh, Yamaha SX650 flat tracker. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, restore it. So I might put some videos on about that. Get it looking absolutely mint. So yeah, the AGV helmet is gonna be the one. All right, guys. Well, if it's been a waste of time, sorry. But if you found it interesting or useful, then uh, that's good. Okay, cheers.